Hello everyone, spending good time with your families, having a good pace with yourself. So today I have come with a poem from class 12 Flamingo and the name of the poem is Keeping Quiet, composed by Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda actually he was a Chilean poet and he scored a Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1971. Coming to the theme of this poem children where the poet has discussed the importance how to maintain peace and silence in the world. He further astounded the way that how important is needed to be a disciplined and a very prof planet and the waves of for the peace and harmony and he also stressed with the way to stop ourselves introspecting ourselves in the society. So coming to the stanza, then we will just move up with explanation. So here we go with the first stanza. Here begin. And now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of the earth. Let's not speak any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. In the first stanza, before that, coming to the theme, here the poet actually, he urged mankind to stop all work and to calm down themselves. He further instigated the people not to speak any language as the language spoken in different parts of country sometimes create a barrier in our peace of faith. Not only this, poet also wants mankind to stop moving their arms. Stop moving their arms, it means here the weapons used by different countries to raise war against each other. Finally, the poet coming to the conclusion that he is demanding for the pacification, he is demanding for unity, union among ourselves. So this is the first phase of this poem. Coming to the second, here we begin. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fisherman in the cold sea would not harm whales and not the man gathering salt would look at his hand. Coming to the lexicon word index here, we have come across a word exotic. Exotic means sea children, alluring, fascinating. So here the poet expresses in this stanza that if engines like machines, vehicles, if it gets stopped, then the world will experience a sudden calmness. He says that the fishermen should not harm whales in the sea. It means to say that, that mankind should not kill animals. But poet, he is encouraging people to just get back with a new way to find out a good balance between life and mankind. He further says that better to stop everything and try to find out that how far we have gained the materialistic thing and how far we have get back with against the loss that we have done. So this is the second phase of the stanza where the poet is trying to make the people aware about the loss that we have done. Coming to the third stanza and here we begin. Those who prepare green gas, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. Coming to the lexicon word index here, green wars it means poisonous gases used during wars. In the third stanza, the poet is requesting mankind 
not to get involved in any kinds of war as it is striving after sin. It means that this wars will lead to destruction and such victory is worthless for mankind. Secondly, he is trying to from the thing that it is better to just come out from that crosses where the world can live happily, peacefully for the well-being. He further adds on that the people, they should not treat their enemies, but they should treat their enemies like brothers and try to keep promoting peace and harmony in the world. In the upcoming stains of children, the poet is also trying to give a message to the people that stop whatever they are doing and just try to find out the way that how they can just bring the happiness in this world. It doesn't mean that the poet wants that the people being killed due to their greeds, but he wants that let's come and just find out that what we have achieved and it should be enjoyed by everyone. In the last phase of this stanza, the poet is asking the people that come and just get learn something from the nature as during winter, when the things get lifeless, when the things get freezes, but as soon as the season changes, life again brings back into a new life. Coming to the conclusion of this poem where the Pablo Neruda beautifully frustrates the things that better not to judge each other but to judge our deeds that what we have done. Better to make a place where we can all live happily, make this world zoetic and animate where all can live freely and happily. That's the end of the poem. Take good care of yourself. Enjoy, good time and be blessed. Thank you.